Am I too dark? I think I'm way too dark. Damn, I don't want to record well in. It doesn't really record well in uh, dark places, does it? I think cameras. I think um, not Sony, but. typed it and then my entire PC bugged out. Oh PC honestly. Then a full spec burn. I think it was um yeah it was Sony. It was Sony. So Sony makes Apple iPhones. I might get a Sony camera instead. Seems quite profitable. But today I want to talk about is video gaming for a career so the biggest problem that I have with <laughs> what are you looking at what are you looking at why do you always sniff the camera as if it's gonna do anything I think it's food you think it's food don't you mm -hmm. Nothing yeah. Video gaming for career, All right? I think this is the biggest. I got. I literally have a fucking bird on my hand. I think it's a frostbite bird. Oh, my ice pack and boxing. My hand. I don't know how long I need to wait. Maybe I need to wait like six months before I can heal, and I can't train boxing during those six months. Because honestly, I've been going boxing consistently for a while now, over six months, and. Math takes six months off to heal, and it's just it's a pain because I feel if I don't train with an immense amount of intensity, I feel like a bum. Like I'm, I feel like I'm lazy. I feel like I'm useless. Like I'm worthless. And this overbearing feeling of worthlessness, uselessness, really tug like tugs at my soul. Anyways, something I want to talk about today is video gaming for a career. I think video gaming for a career is one of the most stupidest things you can do. Because at first it seems quite, quite enticing. It seems quite attractive, even. It seems quite gorgeous, even. I get to play video games. I get to play League of Legends and Apex Legends and a lot of legends. I, I play Fortnite and Call of Duty for my for a living, and I gotta sit in front of the computer all day and destroy my eyeballs for a living, and spend all those hours in the virtual world for a living, where it has no tangible ROI for a living. You know, I saw Taxi 2G recently. And Taxi 2G is a pretty prolific Apex Legends YouTuber. I, I, I play Apex religiously, okay guys? I mean, I used to. It's been a year and a half since I stopped playing. I quit in the beginning of season 11 when Ash first came out and Rampage was still new and all that shit. It's been a year now. The game is completely revamped into a completely different thing. Like, there's two new maps, bunch of new guns, bunch of new characters. I don't even know what's happening anymore. I don't care. I don't want to return for like about a month or two months, probably for the other season, and then grind to Predator or Masters. Masters or Predator? I think Predator is the worthy, worthiest goal to grind towards. Reaching like, it doesn't need, it's only like 700, 600 Predator, and then I'll just maintain that with a few ranked games daily, and then I'll just stop playing entirely. I'll, I'll get my Predator badge, the animated one, Along with my 21 4K, and I'll just retire. Put on every character, look like a sweat. I might do it for another like three seasons, but then there's there's no like at some point I feel like I complete the game, so there's no like real ROI for me. It's very very difficult for me to just. It's very difficult for me to like feel some sort of ROI. But anyways, Taxi 2G he has over 9,000 hours in Apex Legends. In a year, there's like 7,200 hours. Is 7,264? How many hours in a year? 7,000. 8,760. How on earth did I 
break it like that. 8,760. You spent half of that sleep. Or a bit less than half of that sleep. So that's a lot of the time I'm doing menial work. If you're working 9 to 5 as well. I bet he does gaming. So his 9 to 5 is gaming. Or his 12 to 12 is gaming. 9,000 hours. He's been playing for like 2 3 years of his entire life. Those 9,000 hours that he's invested within the video game is time he will never ever get back. I don't think you possibly understand that. Of course like, so people can take this other way. They can see it as super impressive. They can see it as a super high achievement. 9,000 hours in the video game, right? But to me, the 9,000 hours in the video game is absolutely detrimental. I don't know if you've seen Taxi 2G's physique. He looks absolutely horrible. Horrible. His physique is like he's got an like, inverted chest with a like a, a stomach that's massive. It is. <laughs> it is embarrassing. A man should not have that physique. A man should be strong. Because a man feels happiest when he's strongest. At his strongest. I don't. Those two to three years could have spent could have been spent on entrepreneurship, building the business. And they're potentially selling the business and just chillaxing and just living life for what it is. If you want to play the video games after after you achieve all things in life, you got a six pack, you got the nice body, you got the nice car, the nice house, a bunch of money in the bank account, a bunch of money coming in every single month without you doing much effort. You go on holiday endlessly. Okay, now you want to play a bit of video games, just just burn some time because you because you can genuinely afford to burn some time. Sure, but most individuals aren't like this. Most individuals come home from their 9 to 5 to play a, a little bit of video games. For me, I would say the best. You got 24 hours in a day. 8 hours you spend sleeping. Another hour you spend to get, another 2 hours you spend to get dressed and then coming home and etc. etc. Commute. Another another hour you spend eating, another few hours you spend eating. And at the end of it, you spend roughly 20 hours a day. Doing menial tasks, including working on 9 to 5 as well. So 16 hours for sleeping and 9 to 5. 4 more hours with menial tasks, eating, sleeping, not eat, eating, <laughs> eating, commuting, ex just menial tasks. You have 4 hours within the day. And you will spend these 4 hours on the video game. Relaxing. Gonna kick back and relax. I deserve it after a long day of work. Wrong. You don't deserve it. What you should do with those four hours that you have in the day, four or five hours you have in the day remaining, is to put it something towards put it towards something actually productive, towards something positive. What is four times three hundred sixty-five? This is this is this is this is immense. Four times three hundred sixty-five. 1,460 hours in a year, which is one eighth of your entire year. If you spend one eighth of your time working on your business, working on your hobby that you could seriously pay you back as well, not like some stupid hobby in which, like, you know, fucking painting Warhammer figurines. Actually, no, that could be lucrative. I'm not educated about that. I, I doubt it is, though. It's better to oversaturate the commoditize market. I doubt is lucrative. Working on your business, working on the sports that you need to work on, working on something that's actually gonna pay you back, that's gonna overcome your nine to five and at some point make you live a life worth living. In the sense that you get to be free. And most people like if they're happy within their nine to five, perfect. But last time I checked, no one the fuck, no, no one on planet Earth is happy within their nine to five. What the fuck is happening within their nine to five? The fuck. Stupid. I'm not shitting on the nine to five. The average, we all obviously need average nine to five workers for society to function. But then again, we can always just outsource the work. 
to other workers that will gladly be paid minimum wage. It's like what KFC is doing right now. KFC is absolutely littered with the foreign Indian workers and Pakistani workers because they will because they, they, KFC paid a minimum wage and then and they can't even fucking they they're happy with minimum wage. If I put one out there, it's completely glad for that type of money. It's not even racist. It's fucking true. Sadly. Um. You don't want to play video games for a living. Of course, it would be much better than working a 9 to 5, like fucking McDonald's type shit, of course. But at some point, you got to think to yourself, I'm trading my time for money still, and I am spending all my life in the virtual world. And this is the selfish, this, this is the selfish conclusion that we can come to as Western Westerners, because we can have that level of freedom, and if it's like, if it gets that bad, there will always be a company, a sort of company, or you can make your own fucking company that pays for workers to come over and you can make money that way through bringing people over and I'll force them to Oh, really you can't pay? Oh, take their money for more money Take money for in exchange of workers Like, um, I have it on my hair 800 P&O staff sacked by Zoom and I have this as my mouse pad and I have this as my mouse pad as a constant reminder of how your job is not reliable your job is not reliable for some income as much as you like to think it is, it's not the economy is going through a recession like it is now in England it will not be a reliable source of income you will be sacked, there's over a million workers in the UK that are sacked they're looking for work again A million people in the United Kingdom. I don't think you possibly understand how much people that is. The gravitas of that situation. It's quite, it's quite intense. There is a whole bunch of unemployed people. A whole bunch. Quite a lot. A lot of unemployed people. Obviously, what playing, managing to monetize video games for a career is amazing. If you compare yourself to the majority. If you look at how your life will span out and how you would just be 40, 50 on the video game still, that isn't attractive. The most attractive life to lead is by providing an immense amount of value. I mean, this is my eyes, by the way, and this is my opinion. It's my opinion! And you can take it with a grain of salt and you can take it how it is. You don't have to listen to me. Although I believe my opinion is quite. It's worth quite something, but my opinion, my opinion is, you spend five years of your life, you sacrifice those five years of your life, in order to create immense value, immense value on this market. You fulfill a need, a demand, a want, you know, with an immense amount of scale and magnitude. You cash out, and you're your, your cash cow, your company. You understand that your company is not infinite; it will not create money forever. You seek to sell the company. A lot of people think. When I say sell your company and then sell the business, and people are like, oh, that's a short term solution though. No, it isn't. Because a company will never always be guaranteed to create income. That's, that's the truth. You might be making 500 grand, 600 grand for a while, but then you tag down to 450. Economic recession, boom, 300. We went from making 600 to 300 within the span of a year because that's how business works. You reach, but the uh, smart thing to do is wait back and try to upscale your company in order to reach that 600k margin again. And sell your company for like 1.2 million, or sell your company for like, for like 8 million. You can sell it for if it's making 600 grand consistently for a few years with a, a net positive cash flow and profit and clear ROI. And it's not purely based on personalized brand, but instead of the brand or the business, instead, you know what I'm saying? Now you have 10 million, 8 million to play with. That you can invest with 5% stock market. 5% of 8 million is 400k. You could, 400k, doing fuck all with a secure 8%, uh, 5% investment. And then, I'm pretty sure investments, like, they pretty much go like, ah, I got a shoulder injury from pull ups. Ow. 
you can get that quite comfortably in this day and age. And then you can make your money make more money. But then again, this does require a large sum of your life to be sacrificed in order to make a bunch of money. And the bill is money. Because if you have money, you have power. Yeah, no bill is money. Because if you have money, you have power. If you have power, you have the freedom to do whatever the fuck you want in life. The freedom is what gives grants you happiness. The freedom is what grants you a feeling of just wholeness and completeness and satisfaction within your life. At some point in video with the video games, you're gonna spend hundreds of thousands of hours in the video games. You'll be ten years deep in Fortnite or Apex Legends, and at that point you're gonna be thinking about what choices you made leading up to your life so far that like every other nine to five worker. And I think this is the most dangerous detrimental thing ever. I don't wish upon anyone. Perhaps my worst enemy. Not you. I'm just... Camera. Perhaps my worst enemy. But for the most part, no. It is currently 4 a.m. in the morning. 3, 4, 54 a.m. I am going to go to sleep now. Good night, boys. Sayonara. Stay hard. Stay relentless. Stay ruthless. Stay... Those feel so plastic. I mean, I don't mean to insult Jesse James West or David Goggins. They're quite inspirational characters. Those feel so plastic to me. I haven't heard anything genuine that could really send to you guys. I think I want to keep recording videos until I reach that level of genuineness in which I can send you guys the good shit, the good quotes. That one quote that snaps you out of the thing. Brutal determination and consistency. I think my best quote so far is Hard Work Is Easy For Me by Suho Kim in Grace as State Developer. I often don't read a lot of manhwa, but today I read a bit as well. I have a bit on my phone, I was half reading it, and then I just... I felt weird reading it, so I stopped. Um, but something interesting was... Definitely, Hard Work Is Easy For Me. I might end off my videos with that. Remember guys, Hard Work Is Easy For Me. If I just keep saying it, there'll be a nice way to it. Read Greatest Estate Developer. It's like a webcomic manual. You can read it on Astra Scans or Manga Dex or something like that. Um, Flame Scans. One of those websites. You can read it completely free. Obviously, like, I'm going to make a bunch of money. I don't want to donate to the creators because those guys are... Jeez. I love them so much. Um, but... I recommend that read because it teaches about camaraderie and it teaches about hard work ethic, which a lot of people lack in this day and age, especially me, myself, and I. Only recently I've been seriously uploading to YouTube, like, I'm like, fucking pushing on. I'm exhausted, so I can't edit anymore, but when I wake up first thing tomorrow, I'm going to be applying to jobs, editing, grinding, my fucking hand hurts, I got frostbite from thing. Ice pack boxing. Um, <sighs> How work is easy for me? Remember, guys. Remember, guys. Hey, like, hey, like, and subscribe. <laughs> I don't know. How work is easy for me? I like that quote so much, but it doesn't. It doesn't slip off the tongue as do the hard work, especially if you don't feel like it. Now, that doesn't sound good to me either. Hard work is easy for me.